We're all looking forward to summer in Edmonton, but not the mosquitoes that come with it. If conditions stay as dry as they are now, it could mean fewer of the bloodsuckers. Fewer of the bloodsuckers Edmontonians despise. In terms of the spring species, uh, uh, many of our spring species are those really aggressive daytime biters. Uh, right now, there's very little moisture on the ground, uh, very little habitat for the mosquitoes. Welcome news for the city as they explain that with COVID-19 related budget constraints, they can no longer afford to use a helicopter for aerial mosquito spraying. Not using a chopper this year will save taxpayers $500,000 this year and more later. It could actually be closer to about a million dollars a year in savings for the city um, by reducing the, the aerial program. We're not asking for the additional money that we would have needed uh, for uh, more chemical. Uh, in addition, going forward, uh, um, we're not going to need to lease the landing site for the, the helicopter pads. Even without budget issues, the city wouldn't have done aerial spraying this year anyway due to the dry weather. They're continuing with ground spraying, saying they may have to increase spraying if we see a wet May and June. For now, they're asking homeowners to be proactive by getting rid of standing water, saying puddles on property can breed the type of mosquitoes that carry the West Nile virus. Getting out there and emptying bird baths, emptying uh, uh, old tires, uh, any of those kind of habitats that could be potentially uh, 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 acting as a, a development site for those uh, species of mosquitoes. In Edmonton, Darcy Ropchan, City News.